This is Lucky Summer in Nairobi's Babadogo estate in Kariobangi, the humble settlement you are referred to when you ask where veteran boxer Kondestina Aching lives. You are led through this dimly lit corridor that immediately passes the message that life here isn't as easy. I want you guys to organize this thing on your own. And are eventually introduced to a woman who is nothing like you remember her. This look, looks like my son. Huh? Uh -huh. And this one, the one they did some ABCD. But I don't grow. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to I had to do something extra when somebody... I don't know how to do it. Are you seeing the whole town? Mm -hmm. That's my town. Those are my properties. Even the cars, even the, the whatever, is a bit in a pass mm -hmm. Everything is mine. Baby, those are my properties. I don't want to hear anything. I, like most Kenyans, have this image of Contestina, a 34-year-old, strong-willed woman who remains the first African woman to hold an international title. Branded hands of stone owing to her prowess in boxing, Contestina is known for her hard talk as hard as the blows that have earned her title after title. They made me give birth many children That's what they did at Madari. Mama, having a lot of children. Today, however, and a woman who at first refuses to have our conversations recorded on camera talks a different language. One the journalists present here struggled to understand. Wow, my sweetheart! Wow! This is unbelievable! Our interview is cut short by the arrival of Ida Odinga, wife to Prime Minister Raila Odinga, and envoy Yvonne Hamati, who are among the many Kenyans who have come out in her support after her plight was aired in sections of the local and social media. Oh, sweet mother! I'm here for you. I've been talking about all the time if I get somebody touching this my sick mama. I'm the one million dollar baby daughter, Lelani daughter of Muhammad Ali. And this is my mother. I told you before, this is my mother. Those are just nicknames. Okay. Um, uh, Long time, and I'm going to go to party. I'm going to go to the party. I'm going to go to the depicting a fallen star now unable to even pay for her one-roomed house that costs 2,000 shillings a month. Such deplorable situations, those that have continued to prompt action with many coming out to contribute. We must have integrated approach to how to treat these postmen right from the time when they're identified up to the future because everywhere, uh, recently I was with the Olympics I was in London and I saw how other sportsmen are being treated in their countries. They are heroes, real heroes, bigger than even the prime minister, the presidents and so forth. And here, nobody knows them. Kondestina is taken to Madari Hospital for checkup as a neighborhood that has watched her crumble from a distance watches on, many telling us in confidence that they could do little to help. Returning to Congestina's home minutes after she left for hospital and it's difficult, if not sad, to marry the surroundings here to the owner. A woman who continues to be recognized not only as a local but also as an international icon. The situation here, a cry in itself to the sporting fraternity that something is terribly, terribly wrong. There is little in terms of memories of who Congestina was before her current mental state. Her brother-in-law, William Moteno, telling us she tore all her previous pictures. Aye. But such titles remain, if only as evidence of a life well played in past glory, but suffered in current state even as a government that promised to assist her since January last year when she was first admitted at Nairobi's Madari Hospital, remains mum. Evelyn Wamboy, Citizen Live at Nine.